what is it about personal growth that feels so isolating? And how do I keep taking care of my relationships without losing focus on the work I do with or for myself? It can be a lonely journey because you know what? When you go through a, a journey of transformation, you're facing yourself and you don't have all the distractions of everything else. Like you really have to look at what is it that you are doing? And you might want to be like, oh my God, oh my God, you know, like, let me find some other people. Let me, let me, let me create distractions. It is a space of solitude. You know, there, there is, a, it is a moment when you have to say, and you build this over time that I am going to do this. And it's not, it's not selfish. It's not self-centered in a negative way. It's to allow you to connect even more from a more authentic place. I think, I think it's, it's about how do you want to, to make that journey feel? And we can bring in the law of cause and effect. So can you allow yourself to find other people who are doing something similarly and connect to them, like call them on the phone, join different groups, um, because you can create a journey that doesn't feel lonely. I would say, you know, over this, this next month, as you're going through this process of really diving into this question and this pattern, how can you start to open up from a place of truth? Um, are they distracting you? Or are you distracting yourself? Um, can you start to set clear boundaries of, around what you need for this this path of growth. And, and if you do need alone time, that's great, but then also make sure you're building time to be connected with people too.